Now we're kind of cooking a little bit. Okay. Yo, Polyrath can actually cook. Okay, Polyrath. Yo, I got the perfect. <laughs> Today I will be playing a 2D Pokemon fighting game, and yes you heard that correctly, this does exist and it is called Pokemon Close Combat. The game only features fighting Pokemon, but they all feel so very unique and their movesets are all really cool from what I've seen. Now I've only found out about this game just a couple of days ago, I've kind of seen images of it I guess online, like when I'm making thumbnails I'm looking like up certain Pokemon and I see like really cool artwork and I didn't realize it came from this game, but yeah this game has existed for a little bit here. And they are continuously adding characters, most recently they added Tyrogue, which can evolve into Hitmontop, Hitmonlee, and Hitmonchan in a really cool mechanic that I will show later on. But yeah, if you like Pokemon and or if you like fighting games, I definitely recommend checking this out. I will have some information down below in the description if you want to check it out yourself. But yeah, like I said, I haven't had a chance to explore this game too much. So today we'll be taking a dive into the game, looking at all the characters' move sets. That way you can figure out who you want to play if you decide to pick it up. I've mostly played some Scrafty, but that's kind of about it. So I'm really excited to see all the different move sets because there are some really cool Pokemon in the game. And again, if you need information on what this game is or how you can get it, it will be in the description below. So make sure to check that out. And if you enjoyed this video or it was helpful at all by the end of it, it, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well help me get the 10,000 subscribers and we'll keep the content going without further ado let's go ahead and hop in i'm going to dive into training mode just a little bit and then i will play some of the single player stuff showing off the different characters so overall i will say this game doesn't feel like too complex uh compared to some fighting games it can be a little bit intimidating at first i feel like with this you know there's really only three buttons. There's your attack button, your special button, and then also your parry button, which kind of also doubles as your grab button in a way. Um, so overall, the movesets for a lot of these characters, they're really, really cool and unique, um, but they are pretty simple to kind of figure out the basics. Obviously, with any fighting game, there's a lot more layers to it. So if you want to get really good, you got to learn those layers. But just to pick it up and check out a character, it's pretty simple, I would say. But yeah, as you can see, this right here is the roster. So some really good picks here. Obviously, you would expect to see stuff here like Blaziken, Heracross makes a lot of sense, Polyrath, Scrafty, but there are some unusual picks as well, like Phalanx, uh, you got Chestnut, who makes sense, but not one of the most popular Pokemon, of course, uh, and then of course, most recently, Tyrogue, this is a really, really cool Pokemon, I'll explain that mechanic too, uh, but I do want to check out some of the characters here, maybe we'll go through like half the roster, or if we have time, we'll go through the full roster, we'll see. So like I said, I have been playing a lot of Scrafty, so I'm going to go ahead and start with him and kind of show off his moveset a little bit, kind of explain training mode, and then we'll dive in and check out all the rest of the characters. So right off the bat, we have the training mode, and I love the fact that it's a wobble fit. It just makes sense, right? Yeah, overall, his moveset is like actually really cool. So obviously, you can like dash around with your character. You can crouch. You can jump. And then, of course, if you hold back, you're basically blocking. You can do like low blocks and stuff like that, too. Uh, but yeah, you got your basic attack right here, a little sweep like that, and then obviously, depending on what input you do, you hold forward, you hold back, you hold down, he has different attacks like that, so pretty simple overall, every character has that mechanic, nothing crazy there. What's crazy, of course, though, is the specials. So his main special, he kind of like digs in his pouch, I guess. Uh, you can see it shuffling through all the different items. It is a set order too, so you can kind of like dig for exactly what you're wanting, but all these things do different things uh, whenever like they interact with your opponent. Right there's like a little firebomb kind of thing. I love this punch right here. This is really nice. You can kind of zone a little bit with it. So very good move. It's also the second item in the queue. So and overall, it's like really cool. Honestly, you got like spoke bombs in there. You got like electric stuff. You got these spikes. There's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with Scrafty, like kind of combo into it. So that's something I actually really like. Um, overall, <laughs> that's another favorite move of mine. If you hold forward and press special, you throw a Scraggy. So that's actually really cool. And you use, utilize it for like grab too, like whenever you run up to Wobbuffet and you try to uh, like hold forward, it'll actually grab with Scrafty as well. So very good use of Scrafty. I really like it, honestly. But yeah, you can fly around with your hood. Every character just has like really cool things that make you gotta like appreciate it if you're a Pokemon fan. Overall, very, very cool. Uh, that is kind of the overview of Scrafty. Like I said, this is like the only character I've really played so far. So I'm gonna kind of dive into the other characters that way we can kind of see how it looks. I also forgot to mention that, of course, like most fighting games, you do have like your meter moves. So as you can see there, there's those inputs kind of on the bottom. You have like bad rep riot right there, for example. It shows how many that you need. Basically, what it is is uh, very strong moves. Let's see if I can actually do it right. Like right there, you see all the scraggies just jump on Wobbuffet. So it's, it's something like cool like that. Like you can do different things there and it's basically like your your meter attack essentially is what it is. So very cool. All right, so for today, let's go ahead and go through some of the characters here. I'm gonna say let's do about four characters. So I will say so far, the one character that seems very interesting to me is Chestnut. And I know at first glance, this is a Pokemon that 
like not nobody really cares about if i'm being honest um <laughs> but from what i have seen it actually is very cool because you do utilize chessmen as well so let's go ahead and show him off a little bit and then i'll go ahead and pick some other ones too all right maybe we should dive into training mode first with this character so that way i can kind of understand the moveset a little bit here so let's take a look and see what chessmen is about i also changed the uh, skin color on accident my bad so that's really punch that's kind of a nice move right there i like that and kind of be very aggressive with that. Got a little uppercut right here. Get that out. Not bad. Okay, that's a strong thing right there. And if you actually hit, it drops spikes. So that's pretty cool, too. His grab pushes you back. Okay. I need to figure out this berry thing, actually. That's what I'm a little bit confused about. Because he's got two different... Oh, okay. If you hold down and back and you press special, it feeds those, and I guess that helps like with defense or something. Otherwise, like the bullets he won. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, that, I feel like that's awful. That's only like good if they're jumping to it. I guess that's not bad. It's against like certain characters, it would be good. I gotta say, overall, his moveset's not that crazy. I thought it was like a little bit cooler because I saw the whole thing with Chespin, but he doesn't feel like that crazy. Oh my goodness. Blocking me. Okay, there we go. Maybe I should, I don't know, use, utilize my blocks too. That actually might be a good idea. Yo, this Metacham is still bodying me. Okay. Okay. Bullet seed? Okay. Look, I feel like I did no damage there, but at the end there, I was, I was playing, you know, kind of decent. <laughs> Ooh, that actually hit. That's crazy. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a really bad berry. I just want to grab him. I cannot grab him at all. Got the parry. That's nice. Okay. I okay. I'm starting the berry. It's just he's not having time to eat it, so it's not ready. Yo, he parried me. How did I win that? I swear he parried me. Okay. Give it your all. Fight. Oh my goodness. I just want to grab, man. That's what I'm trying to go for. Okay, that was kind of nice. That was actually kind of nice. Yo, we're getting that damage now. Got the spike set up too. Let's go. <laughs> we got him. We're playing against all the characters that I was like kind of not planning to play as, so that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I know for sure I'm gonna play. I'll probably play Tyro next. So we'll do this match here, and then I'll switch over to Tyro. Cause Tyro has got a really cool mechanic. Like he was like a big spread, and that's kind of how I found out about this game because I saw it on Twitter. I am getting body right now. Oh my goodness. This is so bad. What was that? Okay, I absolutely got cooked. That was almost perfect. <laughs> that was really bad. Oh my goodness. How did I not parry that? Yo, why is he so aggressive? I swear. Get me out of the corner. I swear I grabbed him. Okay. Alright. <laughs> That's Chestnut for you guys. Let's go ahead and switch it up. Alright, so I know I keep talking about him, so let me go ahead and show off Tyro and kind of explain his uh, his ability here a little bit. So the thing about Tyro that's actually really cool, if you've ever played Pokemon, you know there's Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, and Hitmontop. And whenever you evolve Tyro with friendship, it'll evolve into Hitmonchan if the attack stat is higher than defense, Hitmon Lee if the defense stat is higher than attack, and Hitmon Top if they're both balanced. But basically, it kind of works like that in this game too. So with fighting games, there's obviously multiple rounds. It's usually like three rounds, basically best of three. And if you notice right below my health bar, there's actually like a fist there and like a footprint basically. And so the way that this works is whenever you get punches or like kicks basically with certain attacks, um, it will basically like 
add points to that, right? So it'll keep track of that for you. And so what happens is after the first round of the match, whether you have more kicks or more punches there, or if they're balanced, that's going to be the Pokemon that you evolve into for like the rest of the match. You basically start off as Tyrogue and then it kind of changes throughout the match, which is, I think is really cool. So yeah, obviously Tyrogue is like nothing too crazy here. That is kind of basic stuff. He's, he's very fast and small, which I like, so... Uh, he's got a little spin kick there. I like his aerial moves too, honestly. This is actually really cool. So yeah, he's kind of a little bit basic, but uh, obviously he evolves into all the different ones. So we're going to go ahead and test it out and see how it looks in battle. And we are up against Primeape. Let's go. Dude was so aggressive earlier. Let's see if it's the same. Okay, nothing has changed. <laughs> Now I did lie, I did actually test this out just a little bit, besides Scrafty, uh, just because this was like the new Pokemon that I added, so I wanted to check it out. But uh, the only one I've evolved into so far has been Hitmontop, so I'm hoping for one of the other ones. Got the grab, let's go! Yo, these are actually like, very like, fast I feel like. Okay, it's looking like Hitmonlee right now. So it's 6 to 3, so if I got my math right... <laughs> It looks like we're evolving into Hitmonlee. There it is. Okay. Yo. I feel like I'm playing Min Min right now, but with legs. That's crazy. What in the world? Grab. Dude, it feels so strange. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen like a mechanic like this with a fighting game, honestly. And like I said, I only found out this game like not too long ago, but from my understanding, it's been a while since they've added a character, and like the reason was because of this character. It's basically three characters in one. I guess four, actually, if you think about it. So yeah, we actually took him down. Let's go up against uh, Scrafty here and see what happens. Ooh, it's shiny Scrafty too. Okay, hopefully uh, we can get Hitmonchan. That's the only one I haven't played so far. That would require me to actually punch a little bit here. Oh, that looks so ugly. I'll just keep spamming grab, actually. I love his grab, dude. It's so good. Okay. I need to, like, not choke here. Okay, look at that. Yo, Taro by himself is kind of crazy. Not, not gonna lie. Got the bunch hand. Yo, this arm looks so sick. I think that's my favorite part about this game. It's like everything is like hand drawn. I think so. The Pokemon look really cool. <laughs> He's got the charge up punch. For cut. Okay, so far I'm thinking I like Hitmonlee the most. Hitmon Top is my favorite out of the three, but. I don't really like him that much in this game, to be honest, from what I've seen. I'll try to get in this next one. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard because they have to be balanced, so this is a little bit harder to do, but we'll see. Got the hair across. This is one I was thinking about trying out. Another one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm a big fan of Johto, so... Gotta love it. Oh, I like that. That's sick. He does so much damage. Look at this. I I hit like four times. Oh, I guess it's only if you win a round. Okay, never mind. I thought it was just like after your first round regardless. I guess it's only if you win a round. So if you don't win, you're just stuck on Tyro. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Dude, I am so cooked right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. So much for hitting my top. <laughs> my bad, guys. <laughs> Let's see, another one that I'm kind of interested in here. Let's go ahead and check out Breloom. This is one of my favorites right here. Always been a fan of Breloom. Yeah, I think they only add fighting Pokemon for right now. So I was going to say like a cool addition would be like Sceptile, but I don't see it happening because it's not a fighting type. Yeah, I guess that'll be my question to you guys. What fighting type Pokemon do you want to see added next to this game? I think for me personally, I got to go with like Conkeldur. It's one of my favorite fighting types. I think Conkeldur is sick. Okay, is he like a zoner? Oh yeah, dude, he's like definitely a zoner. What is this? He's got the berries, which you can throw at like different angles. So you can throw it far or up close like that. He just plants a shroomish, it looks like. <laughs> I'm guessing if they walk over it, it like basically hits them. 
You can even do it in the air, yo. He's got this long grab right here. This is kind of crazy. Oh my goodness, yo. Does that heal you? Yo, okay, this is the zoner in this game, actually, though. That's crazy. Just this alone right here is so annoying to deal with, I feel like. <laughs> you can just grab from, like, so far away, and it looks like you heal yourself, too. That is insane. Yo. How's the grab look? Just hops around like that. I feel like he's not very fast, but he has these, like, little leaps that he can do. This actually looks very annoying to deal with. I like it. This, this might be my kind of character right here. Let's check it out. I guess it's the Ditto. Here we go. Same skin and everything, of course. Alright, so I am the one currently on the left. Hopefully this is not confusing at all. Let's just say I'm the one that's constantly winning. Now I'm the one on the right. Just having that live stream is crazy. Yo, this character is wild. Are you kidding me? <laughs> having the ability to just drain like that, that's kind of wild. Oh, that stopped me, okay. Oh wait, I, I was looking at the wrong one, hold up. <laughs> I'm the one on the left right now, okay. Alright, we're cooking, don't worry, don't worry. Yo, this might actually be my favorite character so far. This is crazy, dude. Like, what? Okay, I'm starting to lose track of which one I am, too. It's gonna be a lot less confusing in the next game, because hopefully it's not Balloom again. <laughs> Just know that right now, I am cooking. That was actually a little bit too easy, like, compared to the private, dude, the private was just going in on me. This is crazy. <laughs> we got Toxicroak, okay. Any one. I forgot to mention this game does also have online support. You do have to, like, kind of set it up, though, which I haven't done yet, so... Uh, maybe I will test that out, stream that, possibly. If you guys are interested in that, but, uh, yeah. There is online support, and in the Discord server, they do actually do tournaments for the game, too, so that's pretty cool. Dude, okay. I, <laughs> Berlum is my favorite character, actually. This character is sick. Oh my goodness. I think uh, if I were to actually really learn this game, this might be my character. <laughs> see if I can do these inputs correctly. I'm always messing up the meters, dude. kind of forgot how to do it, not gonna lie. I just know I can do it right now, but... Like, look at that. He's got so many, like, just random projectile things, and you can just, like, pull people in. His damage output is just crazy. You constantly heal yourself. That is insane. Yo, Breloom goes crazy. Great Tusk is up next. I did test him out a little bit here. Not a huge fan, even though I love Great Tusk. One of my favorite Pokemon, actually. Um, probably my favorite Pokemon from Scarlet, but I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, his move set feels kind of weird. He's just constantly, like, spinning. It's just, like, not my kind of character, I feel like. Dude, Breloom is insane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's just got so many tools, I feel like. I actually kind of want to know, like, who's considered good in this game, because I actually have no idea. Like, maybe Breloom is bad. I don't know. But so far to me, he feels pretty good. Like, look at that. Bump the grab there. That alone is just <laughs> enough because it's like if they're close up, their tail hits them, and if they're far enough away, the projectile hits them too. So that is kind of insane. Got me Yen Shao up next. Another cool one right here. I feel like we've had a chance to see most of the characters here just because like I'm playing against different ones. Oh, okay. This one's cooking. I would imagine this is a very fast character. Just uh, knowing me and Shao. And it does seem like that is the case. Oh my goodness, okay. That vine whip is insane to me. Like, the range on that? Hello? Dude, you can just sit back all day with this guy. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what to say about Berloom, yo. <laughs> Berloom goes crazy. Character does everything you'd ever want. Okay, Miencho is actually very fast. It's probably the fastest character in the game, I would imagine. Just based off of what I've seen. 
For now, zoning. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, nice parry. Look at you. Jimmy Eric. Yep. Alright. <laughs> That's it. Bloom, new favorite character in this game. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and switch characters here. That way you guys can see one more character at least. And uh, we'll go from there. So again, if you guys want to see more of this gameplay and see more characters, let me know in the comments below. And I'll definitely make another video checking them out. Um, to close this out here, let's see. Who do I want to test out? We've kind of seen Toxic Croak already. That's one I was thinking of. We've seen Metacham for sure. We also have Slitherwing, which is a very interesting Pokemon. I feel like the most interesting though on here... It's got to be Phalanx, right? Like, I actually haven't even played against this. Let's check this one out. All right, so this feels uh, very strange because you take up, like, half the stage. You got a little punch there. Okay, if you hold down, you actually throw one of them out. That's cool. I can see he just kind of chills there. I don't know. Ooh, you're special with, like, a stab. Yo, okay. Kind of long range. Okay, makes sense. Down special. That calls them back. Okay. So if you hold down attack, you throw them forward, and then if you hold down special, they come back to you, I guess. You get the long arms. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So one of your meter moves is, like, being able to grab from that far away. So, okay, you actually started, like, a grappler, I guess, in that sense. <laughs> it's just one of your, like, meter things. I'm actually gonna show off one more character. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really digging the moveset here, so this character's not for me, but, uh, if you wanna try out Phalanx, go ahead. Instead, I'm gonna go with a Gen 1 classic in Polyrath. I like how when you crouch, he just kind of like, kind of just chills there, you know what I'm saying? I'd imagine he's not too crazy. He's got the slap, makes sense. Ooh, okay, that's really cool, I like that. He's got the little finger gun shooting the bubbles. It's sick. Never mind, he actually has a really cool moveset so far. He's got the Whirlpool that sucks them in. And when you dash like forward and back, like, I'm not even pressing any attacks here. You just do damage naturally. So you have to, like, double, like, basically double move left or double move forward like that. And it actually just hits them. That's pretty cool. Got a little uppercut right here as well. In the air, he kind of, like, jumps off a bubble. That's really cool. It's like you can combo this stuff, too. You can kind of hold it, too. So that's actually really cool. Really cool combo option right there. I like it. I like it. Yo, he's got the belly flop, too. Yo, Polyrath kind of cool. Dude, like I said, all the Pokemon in this game have really cool attacks, I feel like. His grab right here is like supersonic, makes them dizzy. Are you kidding me? There's like so much detail into this, I like it. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to test him out. His moveset is very sick. Like I said, not a fan of Phalanx, but Polyrath so far, very, very cool. Dude, it's insane. This character's crazy. Okay, he actually jumped up, okay. Oh my goodness. He keeps hitting me with the same thing every single time. Yeah, I can zone. How you like this, huh? What you got here, across? You got nothing. Nothing to deal with this. I can sit back all day. You guys didn't know I love zoners in games, by the way. <laughs> I am a big fan of zoners in fighting games, if you couldn't tell somehow. Finish both the grab. Okay. I need like one more bubble to hit. That's actually all I need. There it is. Okay, right now Polyrath is taking a close second on my favorite Pokemon in this game. Okay. I feel like you can really like fight up close with him, or you can kind of zone, which is nice. And again, I'm kind of just showing like the basis of these move sets. I'm sure there's a lot more complexity behind it, but. I'm just trying to give you guys a base cool review of these characters. <laughs> yeah, I lost. Okay. Kind of got bodied there, not gonna lie. I keep using that Whirlpool uh, the wrong way. Ooh. Keep reading that I can parry too. There it is. Ooh, okay, yo! <laughs> I feel like I won that so quick! Galarian Zap, yo, let's go! Yeah, he looks like a rogue right here. That's pretty good. I kind of forget that Galarian Zap doesn't even exist. I'm not gonna lie. What's he doing? He's dashing across the stream? Got this. <laughs> 
got the grab, let's go. Got it. He juggles the bubbles. <laughs> We're kind of cooking a little bit. Okay. Yo, Polyrath can actually cook. Okay, Polyrath. Yo, I got the perfect. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that is Pokemon Close Combat. Those are just a few of the Pokemon in the game. Let me know if you want to see some of the other Pokemon in the game. I think the only ones we didn't see any of were Beware and Blaziken, actually. I think those were the only two. So, let me know if you guys want to see those, and I will make another video. I do plan on streaming this game as well, so make sure you subscribe if you want to check those out. And again, let me know which Pokemon you would like to see added to this game next. If you need any help figuring out what this game is or where to get it, check out the description below, and there will be some information in there for you. But yeah, other than that, got nothing else for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you all in the next one.